in this video, I do have to apologize. You'll hear me say uh, electric only. All the sites here have water hookups. Some are full hookups, so you also have sewer, uh, but they all have water. So ignore that part if you just hear me say electric. All right, site three. This is probably one of my favorite ones. You are right across from the dump. Um, park host is right next door over there. Uh, and I asked them, I said, do you really get the sewer smell from these sites? Cause I had a chance to book these, but I didn't. And uh, now I'm kind of wishing I did cause we would have been shade the entire day. Um, but this is 50 amp full hookup, uh, across from the dump. And they said, you only smell it, uh, depending on when the way the wind blows, but typically if people are dumping occasionally you'll smell it. But again, they said, depends the way the wind blows. So. If you don't mind that waft every once in a while, definitely get three. I think it's worth it during the summer to have that shade. Here is site four, a uh, very long site. It's another full hookup, shade all day in this one. The only downfall is uh, you just gotta be mindful of is your approach um, because there's your turn. So if you're struggling with backing in, uh, this may not be a good site. I, I heard sometimes people will kind of pull up in that road area there and kind of get straightened out and then back into it. So there, there's another possibility for you too as number four. Uh, three and four are definitely uh, two of my favorite sites that uh, would be possible future stays. And here's number five. Um, you do uh, slope down towards the back a little bit. So, I mean, nothing bad. <laughs> this one stay, stays shaded most of the day, too. There are parts and times where it will take on a little bit of extra sun. Uh, look at the size of it. Again, um, you can push further back past the rail tie in the back there. You can almost get your tires to it. Uh, that's kind of how we, we are. And then might be able to still get your rig here. Uh, or if you have a trailer or a fifth wheel or something like that. Um, but I think I've seen a class A in this site. So, but again, depends on the size. Uh, and the approach to that is not too bad. Uh, it's a little bit better here than it is over at number four. Here is site seven. So you're gonna have some morning sun for sure. Uh, it is now about 12 o'clock. So in just a little bit, you'll, you'll get some shade through the rest of the day. Um, they were up higher on one end, so you, you aren't quite level side to side. This is a full hookup as well. Well, here's site eight. I can tell you this one because it's my rig. <laughs> um, you cannot get, depending on how far back you push, but we can't get that on and all the way out because of the nice, really, really nice <laughs> picnic table. But uh, we fully extend that one out. It helps keep the sun off because sometimes in the morning the sun will hit us right there. Um, and then uh, let me get to the other side and talk about the other side. So uh, it's, this is a nice, easy approach. Uh, very pretty much level. We definitely level side to side, uh, that's for sure. Part in uh, dead, or, uh, dead pool there. Uh, so here's the other side. Here's what I'm talking about. So this is all open. So this whole side in the roof um come about 1 30 2 o'clock just gets nailed with the sun all the way until uh, it, uh, probably we, that back cap here sometimes will stay say, shaded and then maybe around 4 35 o'clock there will be a few spots in here that will catch on some shade from the trees next to us but um you know like people said cool it down as much as you can during the day here's number nine very easy to back in again you could push back full hookup 50 amp here through this uh, circle loop now it does look like you get shade but don't let that be deceiving uh during the morning you, it'll take on full sun through here but then probably midday uh you get back into some of that shade so in the morning which i'd rather have the sun hit me in the morning than in the afternoon in the, uh, when it's really hot here is site 10 so a good link here uh I'm, right now it's midday so you're about 12 o'clock so you got some sun there but uh i don't think it has sun for very long it stays uh has a decent shade to it uh this is going to be again full hookup 50 amp along here here is a uh, site 11 so um keep in mind some of these sites i'm going through different parts of the day due to the the fact that um i try not to record them when there's rigs on them uh this is uh the 30 amp section that we're going to be going through nice and long keep in mind you got some shade right now but if i remember right during the day this 
uh, did not stay shaded, I believe, towards that back side, maybe. Number 12, nice and long. Um, and you're going to have shade uh, right now, but I know it does take on sun during the day, especially for sure in the back there. Here's site 13. This is on the outer loop, so you're only going to have electric. Um, you can see you're going to take some sun. Uh, definitely in the evening time, too, you'll get some uh, where it's all sunny back there. But uh, if you keep your rig towards the front and about in the middle, uh, you should be okay on shade for quite a bit of the day. It is uh, currently like a 1120 right now. So here's number 14. A lot of these look very level side to side and in front to back. Uh, this one, you'll have shade, I believe, through most of the day. Uh, this is also a uh, sewer. Um, the, the ones on this inner loop, if you're looking just at a video, there's an inner and outer loop. And so these inner loop ones uh, are full hookup, but they're 30 amps. So there's 14. Here is 15, nice and long. Uh, you are going to get a lot of sun on this one, though. There's definitely absolutely uh, no tree cover here. I can't record 13, but as you're looking at this, I can tell you this is on the outer loop, so it's there and right next to it, 17. Uh, pretty good length there, easy back into. Uh, you got a lot of shade there as well at 17, which are all on that outer loop. All right, here's site 16. This is a pull through. You, this has a lot of shade. It's really nice. Um, do bring extra hoses. Sewers on the left, and electric and water is on the right, though, as you uh, pull in through this nice site here number 18 uh pretty short so if you got a little bit slightly larger ring you can just push further back kind of like what we did at our site um this one's one of the on the outer loop it is only electric 30 amp um, but um you have a little bit of shade and there's this ginormous tree on the other side of the road that uh i think provides a lot of the shade for this site uh I believe during the, the day you will take on some sun, but uh, during the evening, uh, it'll be coming, it sets over there. So you'll have a lot of evening shade. Number 19, again, this is on the outside. So it's electric only, 30 amp. Very, very long sight. Uh, pretty easy, straightforward back into it uh, from the road. Uh, and so it's really nice. You got, you will have some shade through most of the day i believe number 20 uh this is a really small so if you have a teardrop or a maybe a i'd probably want to park anything bigger than 20 foot on here uh a gentleman had a longer one i don't know how long his was but he said he had a difficult time backing into it but uh, your water and electric you can see is straight back there uh, so you, you might have a ways to run. Uh, there is no sewer on this one because it's on the outer part of the loop. In the shade, um, I think they said they stayed shaded most of the day. Uh, Parco's just finished cleaning. Here's 21. So nice, good, long length here. Um, looks like you're gonna have some shade a little bit further back. So kind of push back there a little bit and uh, keep as much in the shade as you possibly can. This is on the inner loop, so you're going to have sewer and electric hookup. Number 23, this one's back on that inner loop, uh, so it's going to have sewer, and again, it's a 30 amp. Uh, nice, easy back in, I believe. Uh, here's your kind of tree covering. The sun will set that way, um, so you're going to have pretty good coverage on your shade, and there's your picnic table there. Site 24, now we're about... Uh, I'm about almost at uh, 10 30 right now so still got some good shade coming through um there's your sun so you, the front end here will probably pick up so i'm sorry it's my energy drink um and so got some good shade and this is on the outer loop so it's going to be uh, water electric only 30 amp here here's 26 it's on the outer section um if i remember right this one did get some sun during the day so just keep that in mind not a lot not like where i'm at but um it's nice you got a nice deep area tent padway in the back back there in the shade so that's really good uh might be a slight slope going back there so you may have be a little bit higher in the front but not much 
Site 27. This is on the inner loop, so you are going to have sewer 30 amp. Uh, you are going to take on quite a bit of sun. Um, don't let some of the shade fool you. It, it'd be all right, but uh, there are going to be several times where you'll have some. Plenty long, and the approach is, is, is easy. Here's 28. Again, this is on the outer loop, so it's only a water electric. Uh, very long site, but this one, you will take on sun through the day. There's not much uh, blocking your canopy above your rig. But, uh, there's that one. Do that 29. Again, nice and deep, long. Um, I'm not, I don't know on this one because you got this big old tree. I think you'd have shade through most of the day um, into made the front cap getting uh, a little bit of sun in the evening time, uh, you know, about four, three to four to six o'clock, somewhere through there. Uh, again, this is during the summer. This is mid July right now when I'm recording this. Ones that I cannot show you is uh, 22 and 25 for sure. Uh, they have people on it. So uh, 25 is a, a, one of those on the inner loop, so it's a full hookup, very level, side to side, completely shade uh, the entire day. 22 is on the other side, on that outer part, so it's going to be water electric, um, and I think it's the shaded. Uh, 30 and 31, also cannot show those. Uh, I can see them from here. Uh, 31, I think, is a real popular one from what I hear, that one's station shaded all pretty much most of the day um, and it's right on an end easy back into crushing that was 30 and it uh, looks pretty well shaded you might get some sun uh, when it you know, as it starts setting or midday um, on the front end of it depending on how far back you push <laughs> 